generic greetings and welcome back to Moonbase, the last episode of this series I would imagine. We are currently on day 11 of 14. Uh, as you can see, our base is very, doing very, very well in fact. Um, we have a lot of energy storage, in fact, it's just we've done a full night cycle and... Actually, no, it wasn't a night cycle, it was just raining. But you can see the batteries are okay. We've got an RTG, we've got uh, solar panels, we've got decent storage, we've got smelters up, we've actually paved all of this, we've just got loads of water collected because, um, well, well, we have because of the, it was raining. And yet, and, oh, we've got a buggy as well. We've got a very, very nice buggy. And we're going to have a drive around in this episode. So, as you can see, there's a couple of things we haven't made. I want to make this uh, this light here, which requires girders, which is a problem because I've smelted all of my stuff into... Uh, I've smelted all my stuff into um, other things, so I need to go and find some more resources, and in order to do that, I think I'm going to utilize the buggy. So, I've just locked myself out. Uh, hang on, open that. Go inside. That is now finished. And, oh, for the first time in a long while, we actually haven't got... Uh, we actually didn't... We actually didn't uh, end up getting a seed off it. So, we've got nothing growing, so we do need more seeds, so I've fill, I filled up my suit, oxygen, I'm going to turn on the nav light, and then we're going to head, um, where's the best place to head? Probably, oh, we haven't had, uh, really went to the, uh, to the east, so we'll do that, so we'll see if we can thread the needle. Oh, some lo lots of ore here, which is exactly what we want, so we'll drop that there. Yeah, this, the whole buggy thing is really twitchy. Really twitchy. I... I don't know why that uh, got through there. It's 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 really all over the place. Well, it's not too bad for myself because I expect it and I know what I'm. You know, I know when I'm going to press left, it's going to jerk and you know, back and forward. Same thing. But um, for you watching, I understand it can be uh, quite annoying, nauseating, infuriating. I don't know. Problematic. Because I mean, look at look at the screen share. I've I've seen I've seen uh I've seen more subdued screen shake when under artillery fire on uh first person shooters. <laughs> anyway. Not that they are the bastion and uh holy grail of screen shake, you understand, it's just it's more their purview than um a game about a, a cat going around mining things. Anyway, so we'll gather all these resources here. As I said, we're trying to make this work light thing. The only thing I haven't made that I wish I had collected or had got was the... Uh, I'm leaving the buggy behind, by the way. Uh, the only thing I wish I had got was a, um, was an oxygen tank, because if you make that, you can just... Uh, what was that noise? Oh, that'll be the automatic drone uh, fixing, our, fixing our base. Very nice of it. I've lost the buggy, haven't I? Oh no, the buggy's there. At least it does show up. That's pretty good. Oh, that's just... Oh, I was going to say, have I Austin Powers this here? <laughs> Get it stuck in between the uh, the rocks. Yeah, if you bring the oxygen bottle along, it's quite useful because uh, you can just go and refill up all your suit. That's the noise it makes as well. Um, actually, I don't know. Should we should we try that? Should we, shall I go back and see what noise it makes? And if it's close to it, then, um, you know, we know there's some clairvoyance going on. Oh, look. So, suit oxygen is about a quarter. So, what I'm going to do is just gather all of this. And I'm not going to get that scrap because, quite honestly, I, I don't want to risk it too much. Uh, the buggy looks very banged up. Maybe it's just shaking itself to bits. It's very easy to never get back. Well, it would have been. It would be easy if I actually had some control over this thing. So I'm just going to gently park it up. There we go. Didn't smash into something, which is always useful. And then we'll head inside and breathe. Excellent. Um, we can get ourselves uh, some more food if we really want to. But quite honestly, I don't think we need to. Um, but I'm still going to make it. So, oh, by the way, we have actually... Uh, inventory full. Uh, we have actually moved the the crafting station so I'm gonna I'm actually gonna shift it back up because I like I like it being directly outside of the I can't pick it up let's see what this makes right mouse button to use no it just makes a little hiss yeah I like the idea of the uh, workstation being just outside in fact you know what we might as well just put it 
there. I don't know why it's been so far away. The thing is, you might not think something like that is like, well, why are you doing it? You know, is it really worth all of that? Moving it just a little, like a, a small bit. Is that is that fixed, by the way? Yes, it is fixed. Let's turn that off then. But if you think about it, if I'm traveling an additional block every time I need to use this station, well, that adds up. It does actually start adding up quite a bit. Uh, so we've made that. I'm just seeing if there's anything we haven't made. Let's go for a full completion run. We've done all of them. All of them. All of them. Yes, we've made... Oh, technically, we haven't made the biofuel generator, but we got one. Haven't made a nav light. Uh, haven't made a, a light. Um, haven't made... We, have made an air, we haven't made an airlock, but we've used one. So the only thing we really haven't got is an auto-open airlock, which I think we will get. That would be quite useful. And actually, let's make that now. So an auto-open airlock requires three cards. Although, actually... Aren't we supposed to be making this light here, which requires two wires? One, create. There we go. I wonder if it requires power. An outdoor floodlight, I'm assuming that it does. Let's just see, shall we? Yes. Yes, it does. And we're going to place that then. Um, probably here. I don't know if you can walk through it. No, you cannot. But let's see what it looks like in the dark. Um, so we'll pick this up. Airlock. And we need to make an auto-open airlock, which is three cards. So there's one. There's two. Three. Auto-open airlock. And we're close to it. Oh, hungry. I mean, just eat loads of meals. We'll have two meals, because you know we can. Auto open airlock. I assume that the auto open airlock only auto opens if we have a power supply to it. Oh, that's much better. Oh, why well, I've been missing out all this time. Why have I not been? Why is that not <laughs> been the first thing I make? Well, I know it's not the first thing I make, but yeah, it would be nice to have that uh, had that earlier. Um, so what's this thing I've just made here? This is a it's a nav light. Can we put like a nav light in. Don't know where do you want to put it. Where would I want to put it? Place it there. Like out on the periphery. I wonder in the dark if it glows. We'll see, won't we? Um, haven't made any more pavement, but I think that's because we are out of. I know we're not out of rock. But we're getting there. Uh, we do want to make. Oh, we can't make it. We can't make that either. Oh well. We'll have to mine some more rock if we want more pavement. But for now, we want a med bay. Just to say that we've got one. And there we go. And where are we going to put the med bay? Med bay ideally will go there. And let's see if you can actually place the... Oh, yes, you can play that, place that over concrete. Not that you would really need to. But there you go. It's in. And we'll place the... Emergency generator just there because quite frankly it's out the way. Right. So we'll get rid of the scrap, get rid of the cards and electronics, and the rest we'll keep. And we do need what else haven't we made? We made pretty much everything, I think. All of those. All those. Well, some of them, as I said, we haven't made, but we've at least seen. That one we got. That one's done. Yeah, we've made we've made actually made everything. Cool. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, start mining a couple of these, just because I want some some big rock, and uh, I want to create some more create some more pavement. And then what I think I'll do is see if we can see how far we can get on the map. See, get in the buggy and just drive in a direction. See if we can encounter something. I don't think. There are random encounters like that, but um, we won't know until we find out, will we? There we go, we've actually got some more radioactive ore. Base losing ox wygen, but we don't really care too much about that. Oh yeah, look at the speed difference when you jump onto this. Yeah, so things like having this closer, the auto-open airlock and the pavement, all of that will actually save you a noticeable amount of time. Genuinely think it will take you time. I, I am... <laughs> I still got a click on the... Uh, on that though, what I want to do is have like a, can we get it from here? Oh, you can actually walk over this. Um, let me get rid of that though. Place that there. 
big switch. It's a really big switch. Um, we need to have a way walk all the way around. I'm actually going to pick that up because I don't like it being on the far corner. There we go. Yeah, look at the speed efficiency. Nice. Let's turn that off because we don't need that on. Uh, oh, that's nice. I like that work light. That is very nice. Nice little blue tinge. It is a very, it's actually quite a nice looking game. Um, oh, and that's just like a red light. Yeah. It's not very bright though, is it? If we place it here, will we get some nice contrast? No. The blue one overshadows it massively. Um, I will put it on the corner then. Because it will complement the thing there. Yeah, it's it's not obviously a huge high fidelity game, but it's, uh, it's very pretty. Right, so, uh, currently hungry, so we'll have that. What I want to do is I want to make a couple of oxygen bottles. There we go. There's five of them. We will craft all of this, and then I think we'll spend a little bit of time having just a little wander about. Because why not? Uh, well, we'll say a wander. We're going to we'll pick a direction and we'll head there. How about south? The reason south is because it is, as far as I can tell, a big flat plane. So having it that, we're not going to hit anything because the buggy will explode and we don't want that. That's why I've picked, uh, get the oxygen bottle by the way, because we now have food. We now have, oh, uh, no power apparently. Nah, now we only just, look at that, we only just don't survive the night for power. But yeah, I think um, we will, one day left, I think we'll spend today heading down. And I might as well put the, well, I can't put the rest of the ore in. There's no real way to automate this as far as I can tell. So we're going to turn that on. There we go. So we know we're coming this way and head off. Look at the drifting. Oh! And that's a very sick cat. I mean, cats tend to be sick for no reason at all anyway. But... Look at that. How far, we, how far have we come? Oh my good grief. Quite a ways. Oop, tap it. Oop, oop. So this is why you would have a nav beacon. Because we can't even see the base. <laughs> oop, nearly... You have to drift around it, you see. Well, it doesn't look like there's much to find. If we go on the map, we can see we, how far we've travelled. Uh, let's just see if we can go over this way. A lot of these routes. A lot of other stuff. But it's all stuff we found. Oh, good grief. It would be nice to find... It would be nice... Oh, does that get smaller or larger when we get closer? I don't know if it does. I think it is getting larger. Yeah, the closer you get the base, the bigger that diamond gets, you see. Look at that. We've dri driven all the way around there. So we're back into known territory now. It would be nice if the game eventually had some sort of like exploration or like... Like, at the moment, the survival aspect's good. Um, I don't know if I'd want a research tree. I mean, you know, a research tree is the, the default option, isn't it, when it comes to a lot of these things. Oh, look at that. It's repairing. Very nice. A research tree is normally the default option when it comes to these sort of games, you know, actually research more stuff. But it'd be nice to have, um, at the moment, the task is just survive. I like the idea of doing, like, surveys and stuff, like you have to go certain places. That would add a lot more to the game. So you would have to build this base, but then you would have to travel quite a ways. Like, you would have... Oh, I didn't realise that happened. Look at that. It actually, uh... The drone will, uh, clean the solar panels. Very pretty. Very nice. Yeah, as I was saying, um... The the game the more, would benefit, I think, from that sort of thing. Where if you if you had like tasks to say go and go over to a location and then survey it, I think that would be quite good. I think that would be pretty good actually. Uh, I'm making two solar panels just because I can. Um, obviously, we're not really in the we're not really in need of these, but. Might as well. Then you charge up the batteries faster, you see. Um, maybe we put them out front. 
or up top, maybe. I guess we can put them here. There's no reason why not. And that'll power the base up. Um, but yeah, I I quite enjoyed this. Like I say, it would be nice to. Uh, Cleaned? Yeah. It would be nice to have some more long-term objectives. So, you know, obviously our our thing is just to survive. That's all it's been. Um, whereas, if you had, like, say, I don't know, the the task of going and surveying, uh, taking soil samples, getting different readings, um, maybe making contact with another pod or, or like scavenging something may have crashed having random events that sort of thing that would be cool that would add some end game to to this thing because like i say my, my main issue with survival games is that the 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 just the task of surviving is often not enough to keep me going like this game we'll have completed in like what, an hour something like that i think the, the total videos run to so that's okay there's no real problem with that um but you know if you're talking about like a lot of survival games, especially ones that are not about player conflict, especially single player survival games. Um, if the act of doing, if if just the moment to moment isn't that interesting, God, that looks pretty. That's very nice. Um, yeah, if the moment to moment isn't that great, then, um, you know, an end goal would always be good. Although one, one could argue that, you know, you always want the moment to moment to be really good. But, uh, yeah, in summary, would like more stuff to do. <laughs> But it is in development stuff. Uh, by the way, you might be thinking, oh, he's made a mistake. Look, you can't clear that solar panel. Well, watch this. There you go. I don't need to clean it. I've got robots to do my bidding for me. Um, But, you know, sadly, we can't send them off to task and do other things. Uh, currently hungry, so I'm just going to have a I'm just gonna have, um, nice hearty meal there. Uh, because it is our it is our last supper. You know what I mean? Like, we, this is really... All it is, day 13 of 14, I'm assuming... Do we have to finish day 14? Or does it just click over to day 14? Then that's it. Good grief. Uh, adding all of these extra bits, by the way, is um, actually a problem because these now take more power. <laughs> and also, there's a chance for them to break and then lose oxygen throughout the base. So, um, yeah, not something that's great. And there you go, we have actually ran out of power at um, 11 at night. <laughs> so what I'll do is I will pick up this... And I will go over to the generator. And that will actually power up, surprisingly, a fair bit of the base. Hang on, it's actually... I've just realised it's 11.40 and it's and the sun's coming up. Or is that the weather? Hmm. That's another thing that can be added, obviously. More weather. Final day, day 14. All right, so we do have to survive this one day. That's fine. Yeah. Um, yeah. As I was saying, uh, the... The, um... Let's see if I can drift around on my tarmac. Oh, I can as well. Yeah, the... The idea of having different weather, and then obviously you could have a... You could be able to, you'd be able to make things like a weather station, so you can predict what's happening, and yeah, there's loads of stuff you could go with this one. But it depends whether that's in the, uh... What the developer's looking for. Maybe they're not. Maybe they're not. I wonder if it... Can you actually break this? Like, full-on make it explode? I'm guessing so. I mean, I won't know unless I try it, will I? But do I? I don't really want to try it. Oh, well. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh yeah. So you did see that when I hit it, it said it's broken a wheel. <laughs> so you can break a wheel. We now know this. Uh, but let me just have that. Luckily, I've got more. I've got all the resources I need to walk back. Yeah, you can actually break a wheel, but I didn't know that, so it's got modular damage on it in some respects. So that's pretty interesting. Um, what I'm going to do then is, I think I'm going to head back and make another buggy. I want to damage the wheel again. Uh, it looks like when you do break the car, it's it's got enough safety features in it so you don't die immediately. In fact, you don't even get uh, much loss of health. So that's useful. Uh, so let's create a lot of that metal and then we need to make um, another... Well, we need to make a mortar. So let's just check what's in my storage, which is... I've got one of those gears. That's fine. We'll put the water in there. Um, we will make some of that. We'll make sure we keep smelting. So we need to make a couple of gears. There's a mortar, and then go over to that. We need a mortar, 
which we have, and a couple of gears. So quite easy to make. Two of those. That should be us. Yeah, that should be it. Make another vehicle. I don't know if there'll be a reason for more vehicles. Oh, there's that coming along. How are we doing for charging anyway? <laughs> no problem whatsoever. Look at that. Four batteries completely charged. The RTG will um, keep it just topped up. It's not great, the RTG, but um, you could run a very small base with just that. Or if you just want to put an RTG next to, say, the beacon, so the beacon will always run, then obviously that's something you can do as well. Right, let's um, do a couple of um, tests. So uh, we just need to make sure that we damage the same wheel. There we go. There's one little tap. There's one little tap. There, one little tap. One little tap. Missed it. Okay, so, a uh, vehicle has broken a wheel, but then it explodes. This isn't working out. <laughs> Normally, I'd be destroying vehicles left, right, and center, and everything would be breaking, but so far, I'm managing to fail at breaking a wheel. Uh, can we actually use this anyway? Yeah, you get healing when you activate that. I thought something like that might happen. Um, you can't disassemble stuff either, which is a problem because I can't make... Well, I can make another mortar. <laughs> There's another mortar there. But... Let's turn that off. Yeah, I just don't have the resource, other resources. And the nearest resource is quite far up north. And quite frankly... I don't think I really want to travel that far. I really don't think it's uh, something I want to do. But yeah, overall, I've quite enjoyed this. Um, it's the thing. It's not really. I don't, there's not really a, a fast turnover on updates. Things like all oh, the updates might be like they have been few and far between. And when they have been there, there's been not been a great deal added. I mean, since I first played it, that was over a year ago. And obviously, there's been other stuff added, like the like for example the. Uh, that that thing there that's been added um there's been the switches added the comms tower there's been other things there and um i'll, I'll rain that so yeah but still it'd be nice to see more at some point um i'm guessing this ticks over at 12 o'clock yeah th i would think so i would think so but yeah uh, in terms of the survival it's uh, not been too bad i don't know whether the seed was just uh favorable I don't really know. I mean, we had... Oh, we've actually got three radioactive stuff there, so we might be able, to, be able to craft. Yeah, we can nuclear fuel. We can't make another... Um, let me turn that on. So I can see back at night. Oh, and you get a nice nice red glow as well. Yeah, um, you can't... I can't make another one of those RTGs, but I can probably gather resources for it. Go. We can get enough resources for one. I don't think so. But yeah, looking forward to seeing what the what's added next. Oh, that's too radioactive from one rock. I say, in terms of end game, it would be nice to get more there. That would be very nice. Oh, there we go. We've actually got the resources that we need. But I think we're just about to tick over to the uh, to the last day. There you go. Success. Success, you completed your mission. And that is it. That is the end of Moonbase. And for some reason, there's no uh, music on this title screen now. Either way, hope you have enjoyed the video on the series. Links in the description so you can check the game out yourself. Looking forward to see uh, what is added in the future. Hopefully more endgame stuff. But um, yeah, I just quite enjoy just being on here. It's just a nice, relaxing game. But also, it's... Uh, Makes you think about you know, survival and things like that as well, because you can fail at this in quite easily. If you don't, uh, if you travel too far out, you can easily uh, die of um, either um, well running out of oxygen or starving to death or whatever, or you can just not have the right resources and you know you won't be able to grow stuff. But yeah, it is what it is, I guess. As always, hope you have enjoyed the video. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.